I would like to design you know, what I call a serial cabinet. I mean by that a cabinet that must be assembled on place. And uh, therefore, uh, I need to use special hardware like uh, VB21 or uh, Rafix from Heffel. I start in the cabinet manager, but I work uh, part per part, uh, and I create the two laterals first. And now I drag and drop the place division. Want I want to have, in fact, three modules inside my, my cabinet. So I set up the number of uh, panels to two, and also beware that I introduce, uh, I insert a negative value in start distance and end distance as well, because this is a trick I use to guarantee that all my doors will have the same width, and therefore I introduce this negative uh, value. Okay, I can proceed further now by drag and dropping uh, the place division function on my lateral because now I'm going to design the top and bottom of my cabinet. Uh, for D2, for example, and I insert a 20 millimeter value because uh, later I want my back to be uh, sliding forward of 20 millimeter. Uh, and this operation must be repeated on the two other uh, sub-elements of my cabinet, of course. Okay, this is already done now. Uh, I proceed further with uh, the selection of all the our horizontal parts because I would like to drag and drop now the dowels uh, from our place hardware function. Um, this is uh, very easy to do. I have already saved a special configuration uh, on my uh, software and I make a mirror of my dowels and to proceed quickly I select the dowels and I drag and drop the copy function and I uh, just check the parts on which I wish to have the dowels. And this is uh, very efficient. Uh, indeed, uh, you can see by yourself or notice that uh, actually the depth should be uh, adapted because in this, in this case, this is not a big problem, but anyway, it, it can be done. Uh, it doesn't matter too much at, at this time of the uh, design. Now, uh, I am going to uh, drag and drop the place hardware fun function again, but this time to uh, manage the placement of my uh, connect connectors, VB21 of Hetich, and, and I make a mirror as well. Unfortunately, I cannot, for this uh, particular uh, hardware, I cannot use the copy hardware function. Why? Because in this case, uh, for three parts, uh, the bottom parts, the, uh, the, the hardware would not be pro properly set up on the right face. So I have to proceed part uh, after part. Well, this is done. Uh, I can now proceed to uh, to place uh, to place the, the the backs, and I remember that I wanted to have a back of eight millimeter and slide it forward of twenty millimeters. That's what that's what I'm going to uh, do now in this wizard. So in 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 Y. 20 z is equal to zero, and uh, um, the thickness of my back is eight millimeter. And okay, the the back is properly uh, in place now, and I have to repeat, of course, uh, this operation on the two other uh, sub elements of my cabinet. So that is very easily done via the cabinet manager, and again. Uh, introduce the right values in in y and z and a thickness of eight millimeters and so uh, now the uh, three backs are properly uh, uh, placed i'm going to proceed further with the fitting 
So in this case, I would like to have uh, blocks of five uh, holes with a separation of 150, uh, 150 millimeters. And via the material placement wizard that can very easily manage it as well as you can notice by yourself. And I repeat this operation on all the later laterals that need to have this. Regarding the fitting, it's uh, okay. We can proceed further now. And of course, the customer would like for sure to have uh, shelves inside his uh, cabinet. So I drag and drop again, uh, place division. This time I would like to reduce in the front of the shelf uh, the distance to have a distance of 20, uh, 15 millimeter, for example. And I wish to have uh, five shelves for inside each uh, element. And that is very quickly and user-friendly done via uh, our manager and cabinet manager as well. And uh, now I need to, um, to care, uh, to take care of my groove for, for the backs, in, fair, in fact. Um, and this is also very user-friendly done with the cabinet manager. You can notice here that by selecting the back, I get a special icon regarding the enlargement of the of the backs. And via the, the manager here, via the wizard, I can introduce or insert the uh, different values. Uh, for example, in this case, I would like to have a groove of 5 mm depth, but I can also uh, insert allowance for the, the width of the, the, the groove and the depth of the, of the groove as well. And in this case, I also uh, wish to uh, to route or to yes to route the groove with my uh, saw blade on the CNC machine, and uh, these are all the parameters I need uh, to to insert via the the wizard to manage this properly. And again, uh, this must be repeated on the other two uh, backs, and I must uh, just take care of the right uh, values to be introduced and if no I verify uh, this I can notice that uh, indeed the back is correctly positioned and I could hide um, temporarily the uh, the other parts and have a look to my left lateral and I notice the presence of the groove as well Okay, now we proceed with uh, the placement of doors. Uh, we drag and drop the place door function on the cabinet and I introduce the proper values, for example, 4 mm distance between each door and the overlap of, of doors on the laterals must be uh, carefully managed because they are different on the left and the right doors. And I proceed further and I repeat this operation on the last, on the third module of my cabinet. In this case, uh, D4 is equal to, uh, to 4 and D2 to 11. And for the middle uh, sub element of my cabinet, I repeat the operation as well, but D2 and D4 values are equal now. Okay, remember that at the beginning of this uh, demo I wanted to make sure that all the doors would have the same uh, width and uh, th therefore I had introduced a special negative value of 7 mm. Now it's time to verify this if indeed uh, this is well uh, the case and yes, I check, I verify and I select uh, each door and I can uh, notice that eff effectively uh, the width of each door is uh, the same. Now uh, we have to proceed with uh, the, the hinges and uh, we are going to use for this to drag and drop the place hardware function again on each door and uh, via uh, my wizard I can select a very user-friendly uh, in my virtual library of uh, hardware the proper hinge in this case it's a clip top of the Bloom company 
and I introduce five as number of uh, hinges that must be uh, placed on the head of the of the door and this is uh, properly done and at the end I can verify by myself inside the cabinet that all the hinges are properly uh, set up okay so uh, no it means that normally if I edit the dimension of my cabinet if I make it larger I understand that all doors should keep the same width uh, and indeed I can verify by myself by selecting door after door and I can verify that effectively the width are the same which is exactly what I wanted to, to do okay I hope that you agree that this application based on iron cat is really user-friendly for woodworkers and this project can now be transported automatically to your CNC machine with our cam system if you are interested by our CADCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.